Our digital forensics division does a great deal of work extracting data from mobile devices such as mobile phones, cell phones, tablets, and other devices. However, one of the areas that is often overlooked by clients that we do a lot of work with is extracting data from vehicle infotainment systems. Many vehicles have deep storage of records from that vehicle that go beyond even what a cell phone can have. And there's a really good article in NBC News about how vehicles are a treasure trove of information. And some of these tools mentioned are the ones we use um, in our investigations. And what you'll find is inside of a vehicle's data system, you will find things such as, in this case, timestamp recordings of somebody else's voice using the hands-free system. So in this case, it was a crime that was solved by police where they downloaded the data from a vehicle and heard somebody's voice using the hands-free system. That's all recorded. Uh, another uh, example of data that's used in the system is where um, there's sensors all over the car. Car has GPS, accelerometer, a camera. It will know how much you weigh because when you sit on the seat, that's how it triggers whether or not you're going to put on the seatbelt sign or not. Um, it also tracks when a seatbelt is clicked, when a door is open, when the brakes are applied, uh, if the vehicle accelerates. Um, even the GPS will track the breadcrumbs of where that vehicle traveled to. So in civil cases, a lot of times we can download this data, find out where a vehicle has been, who used the vehicle, who's Android Auto connected to the system, what data was exchanged, text messages, pictures, um, emails, what websites were visited, uh, what was searched for on the maps. Um, so the article talks about how the telematic system in a vehicle, kind of like a black box, stores turn by turn navigation speed uh, acceleration deceleration um, when the lights were switched on when the doors were open when the seat belts were put on and the airbags were deployed if there was an accident it also records recent destinations call logs contact lists so if somebody even gets in the car and they they hook up their phone even if they don't call somebody their contact list is stored in that vehicle in many cases it'll save text messages, emails, pictures, videos, web histories, voice commands that are used. And even some vehicles, if a voice command is not made, it'll record the, the audio of the vehicle because it's listening for a voice command. If your, your vehicle recognizes, you know, call Bob, even though you didn't say call Bob, it's listening to make sure that it didn't miss anything. Um, all these can be downloaded by USB cable to get the information. Um, sometimes you can even do it with Bluetooth where you don't have to connect to the vehicle. Um, the couple really good examples where it was used, um, you can extract incriminating text messages, calls, or files. So what happened is there was a uh, vehicle that uh, was stopped and the traffic stop, the people ran away. They abandoned the vehicle. They downloaded the log of the journey the night it was stolen from the empty car. It had made two stops at an RV dealership more than 20 miles away. The data trail showed precisely when the car parked, when the door opened, when it closed. So they went to that dealership and they downloaded from the dealership the surveillance video from that store. Come to find out, a former employee, a handyman, was at that dealership stealing money from the business. So without the telematics from that vehicle, they would have never known that that car was part of a burglary. Uh, and of course they did uh, a prosecution based on that. It even tracks when the vehicle shifts so you know how fast it's going, if it's going uphill, downhill. Um, the other really good um, example of how this worked um, was they sent mystery shoppers to test drive used cars at 72 dealerships and while they're in the vehicles they check the infotainment systems to see where there was any personal information 88 percent of the shoppers found personal data left on the vehicles home addresses phone numbers that kind of thing in many cases even rental cars will have that um, there was a story where a rental car agency uh, downloaded and people didn't realize that they were using the uh, hands-free system in the car to order hookers and cocaine from their uh, different apps on their phone. So as a investigative tool, these digital forensics 
data dumps from a vehicle can be more powerful even than a phone. Most phones you need to have a login or a fingerprint or some type of password to get in. Uh, sometimes it, don't, it doesn't keep track of all the information if the app is not running. Where a vehicle, it saves everything. And even things that you wouldn't think are part of a data recovery. Doors opening, lights going on, blinkers going on, horn going off, what channels on the radio. Those can be very valuable for an investigation to discover fraud, to discover cheating, to discover location of a vehicle, or even if somebody's going to a place where they weren't supposed to, a lot of times you can download it from the vehicle and find out where they were and then use that to connect to other data later. So if you do have a case where you can imagine anything in that vehicle would be valuable for you to know about, you can contact our digital forensics division and we can see what type of data recovery might be available for the vehicle.